Hi, this is Mary Hoffman, and this is the final installment of our four-part series on Shop Floor Mobile, on Visuals Shop Floor Mobile, which is the an app that allows you to perform a variety of tasks on mobile devices. There, there are four apps that are available, and so we split this into a series of four recordings. Please watch the first recording it before watching the others. So if you haven't watched that first one, you can stop this one and go back and watch that that first one because it covers a, a lot of things, a lot of topics in general about Shop Floor Mobile. But then it has a focus on the scheduling aspect, which is where you view up to the minute information um, about what's going on with shop resources, about what's going on with individual jobs, um, and typically is used by planners, schedulers, shop foremen, folks that are walking around in the shop. Um, it, you're also able to do labor transactions from that scheduling piece. If you're licensed uh, for labor and inventory, you can do inventory transactions as well. So that's what um, recording number one is about. Number two focuses on labor, which might be more what, a, what an operator sees. How they clock in and out for the day, start and stop jobs, view information as well. Recording number three is around work order material. And um, there, there's a variety or uh, it's all the major inventory transactions that have to do with work orders. But there's a few others thrown in there as well. So issuing uh, of material, moving material, adjusting material is covered in, in the third recording. And this final one is, is very short. It will focus on purchasing, the purchasing aspect. Purchasing was relatively, um, is a relatively recent addition to, um, to Shop Floor Mobile. And uh, it allows you to do, do a few transactions. You can do receiving entry, so purchase order receiving entry, returning of goods that might have been previously received, you can do some inquiry as well. Uh, look up what lines are due, what's coming, and um, look back on what's been received. So let's take a look here and go into receiving entry. From here, as a receiver, I might uh, click here and say I'm receiving a purchase order, or I could be receiving um, from a, um, an inner branch transfer. We're going to focus on purchasing here. So I can search for a purchase order. We'll pick the first one. Now here are the lines that were on that, that, purchase, uh, that purchase order. And now I'm able to add some additional information. For example, um, if I want to reference the, the vendor's information, like their bill lading, the packing list, et cetera, I can do that. Um, I also can receive all, just like you can today in, um, in standard visual um, purchase receipt entry. But otherwise, I'm going to come in here and specify what it was that I received. Maybe I received 10 of these. And then um, when I'm ready to when I'm ready to do that, I will, um, you know, I'll answer questions that might pop up. And those are optional questions. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and and I can also go look at information. For example, if there were documents attached, I could go see those documents. I can go um, see information about the vendor if that's important. Uh, you know, things like um, maybe I need to get in touch with them for some reason. I can go uh, get click there and I'm and I'm calling them if I'm on a mobile device that has that capability. But notice there's some information here that I can see around a vendor. Um, I can print labels if you if you need to do so for, right from here. So that's a bit about PO entry, receiving entry. Let's go look at some of the other capabilities. In return entry, I'm sending back to the vendor. We'll just send back what we just received. Um, we'll say that it was this one, or I could have looked that up by receiver. Um, Let's return those 10 that I just received, and uh, I'll get some, um, some pop-ups there. 
to acknowledge that, um, that yes, that, that transaction was accepted. As I mentioned, that's an option. We'll look at those again just in a moment. And then the other two things that I can do are uh, to, to look at that, um, the, the lines that, are, that I'm expecting and uh, any lines that have already been received. So what am I expecting? Those PO lines do. Here they are. As you can see, I can do a, a date range. So what's due today, what's due before today and today. So then I'm just picking from those items. If this item shows up at the dock, great. I pick up, uh, pick up that item. I say go to receiving entry. And now I'm doing, I'm back in that receiving entry screen, processing that receipt. Um, when, let's go look at what was received, which is a, a simple inquiry. So I can review um, what was done or pass that information on to somebody or as a purchasing agent, I might want to be looking, uh, looking at mobile and saying, what did they receive today? Or as you, as you can see, a range of dates. A quick look here also at the preferences that can be set for, um, for purchasing. Very simple. Do I want to announce that that, um, that that was accepted do i want to ask for confirmation are you sure you want to do this and then um, whether or not i'm going to automatically fill in the balance of what is due so when i process that receiving entry do i want do i want it to autofill with what is left due on that line and then make changes if necessary or do i want it to come up blank and then um, put in the quantities that are received. That, that would be my preference because there's more control if I do it that way, um, rather than assuming everything was, uh, everything that was left to be received is being received. So those are my simple preferences. Each of the different areas that we've talked about during these four recordings has their own preferences. Um, so the purchasing preferences are very simple, just those, just those three. That's the end of our series about Shop Floor Mobile.